Welcome back to the fifth and final module in this series of InfoShare tutorials. In this module, we're going to look at some tricks that you may find useful when searching InfoShare for data. Here we are viewing the webpage of one of Statistics New Zealand's hot off the press releases, the balance of payments. To view the more detailed pages of data, we can open up the Excel spreadsheets that are attached. When we do this, we notice that in addition to the large amount of information available, we also have some series reference codes linked to the data. Here are the codes. These series reference codes can be searched for directly when using InfoShare, so if we wanted the same type of data, but for a longer time period than displayed in the spreadsheet, then the series references can help a huge amount with that. Here I am pointing to the row in the spreadsheet which displays New Zealand's current account balance. It has a series reference number BOPQ S5AC3. We're going to use this reference in the search, so it may be worth writing it down. For this example, we'll look to find the series of data but cast back as far as 1995. Upon entering InfoShare, we simply click on the search option at the top of the screen. Before searching, we're going to select some specific search options. We are wanting to search for the time series identifiers, so we need to ensure that this option is ticked. Then we can type in our code. And click on search. The only return result is the InfoShare table that will show us New Zealand's current account balance. We can click on this option. And we can then choose the rest of our variables in the normal way as shown in our earlier modules. The data we get should match that seen in the original balance of payments release, only the data can be backcast much further. In this particular instance, as far back as 1987. Another way to search using identifiers is to use wildcards. Again, with this particular type of search, we need to ensure that look for time series identifier is checked. We will now look at how to find data if we only know part of the identifier code. For example, in our previous search, the two parts to the code, BOPQ and S5AC3, were located in different parts of the same sheet. If for some reason one of these parts of the code were missing, we can use the wildcard functions to fill in the gaps. For instance, if I type in S5AC3 on its own, this result will not yield any results. However, we can overcome this by using a star symbol as a wildcard. The star signifies that there may be other parts to the code before and or after the section of the code that we specify. So type a star before and after the code. And click on search. Now our search results show that there are six InfoShare tables that include S5AC3 somewhere in their code. Another type of wildcard is to use a plus symbol. It is subtly different from using the star wildcard, as the plus symbol is used to represent any single character of the code, whereas the star can represent any number of characters. To demonstrate this difference, we will look at how we can use the wildcards in a trade table. The example in Module 4 showed how to find Granny Smith apples by doing a keyword search. This time though, I simply want all the separate types of apples within the HS system. From the previous module, we know the code which contains all apples, that code being 080810. But to get some meaningful numbers for the quantities, we need to select all the 10 digit codes contained within the 6 digit code. To do this, we select the search option. And in the text box, we can type in 080810. One zero, and then make sure we put the tick in the code only box. Clicking on search at this point would result in just the six digit code and its description.
if we type in 080810 with an asterisk, we will get the 6 digit code and the 10 digit codes returned. But to return only the 10 digit codes, we can type in 080810 with four pluses after it. The plus icon represents a single missing character in the code. This now specifies that we are looking for 10 digit codes only, but they must also start with 080810. This search returns all the different types of apples that are tracked in the HS system. These can then be all selected very quickly by clicking on Select All at the top of the HS variable box. The plus and the star wildcards can be used in search options throughout InfoShare. For further help, you can always select the Help tab at the top of the screen. or you can refer to the Frequently Asked Questions section available at the bottom of the InfoShare landing page. Here are the Frequently Asked Questions section. You can also find information on data changes and unscheduled releases. Finally, you can always call our information service on 0508 525 525 which is toll free in New Zealand. One of our friendly information advisors would be more than happy to talk you through InfoShare.